Keep watching Charis TV. You know, I'm touching this man, I could feel even inside. Some of you here, the whole of your body is an attack. David said, I will spend the days of my life in the house of God. I'll tell you why he said that. There's no life outside of Jesus. You know, there are many people who might look like they're happy. They are not. There are people that, they're not Christians, they look happy. I'm telling you, they are not happy. There's a man that can give you peace. It's Jesus. Amen. You see people who drink alcohol every day. Hey, hola. Yeah, yeah. My tata fell away now. I'm telling you, they're just trying to, you know, they're just trying to use that thing. Uh, because many of you here, I know you are drinking. It just won't tell you. Because when you are here in the church, you must know why you are here, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about this one. No, no, this one will never do that. I'm just feeling this thing in my spirit. This, it means, yeah, you will never do that. I'm talking about you people. You see this life, all along, all along, all along, all along, all along. Zekete. <laughs> you think they are happy. That's what, what because when you are in the church, you look like you are a fool, isn't it? Huh? I can tell you, those people, they cry themselves to sleep. There's a man called Jesus. You know, I pray today as I'm standing here that the Holy Spirit raise more of evangelists. Amen. Let the name of Jesus be preached. Amen. I don't know if you are here or I'm trying to tell you. Amen. You see one day, one day you're going to see me on the street. You'll see. You see. One day you're going to see him on the street. I'll be on the street Say. Jesus saves, come to Jesus. You, you'll see. Don't be surprised. Because we're living in a time where Satan is bringing so many things that look like they're fun. You know, they look like, you know, they're enjoyable. But deep down inside, there's no peace. There's a man called Jesus that can give you peace. Today, as I'm standing on this place, Amen. Jesus, I'm praying that more of evangelists must be raised in the name of Jesus. Amen. Starting from this ground, Amen. wherever that they are, I touch them, I touch them, I touch them. Amen. The name of Jesus must be praised. Time is going. I mean, the name of Jesus must be preached. It is better to be an evangelist because you won't say, my church, my church. My, when you don't deal with church, you deal with the souls of people. Amen. You deal with the souls of people. Amen. No one these days wants to be an evangelist. I'll tell you what, they think if you're an evangelist, you can't have money. But Ramudim, there's money in serving God. Amen. There's no money in the church. You see a church? Uh, I'm telling you. There's no money. If you think there's money in the church, you are wrong. Today, as I'm standing here, I'm praying before the living God. I say, Holy Spirit, raise more of the people that will preach the gospel. Not looking on anything, but carrying the mandate of the Holy Spirit. 
I don't know if you people are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Because there are so many churches that we have now, but so much polluted. So much polluted stories, this, eh, blah, blah, eh, blah. But one with let's go on the street, we preach Jesus. If you think to have a church is because you, you, you think you'll have prosperity. Ah, there's prosperity in obedience. You obey God, everything will be given to you. As simple as that.